Alrighty, hey there guys, Adrian Costa here, aka Jedi Bro 95, coming at you guys with another video. So, we got a lot to talk about. We got the AKA players coming out yesterday, and then we got Team of the Week coming today, this afternoon. And then we got the, every Team Diamond reveal, other than the Master, they did not talk about that. Uh, that's going to be revealed tonight. I'm not going to make a video on it. I'll tweet about it on my social media when it comes out. Uh, but for the AKA players, guys, so first off, we'll show, why is my screen so zoomed in? I did not even realize it was that zoomed in. I apologize. Uh, but we got Walter Payton for the, um, AKA promo, uh, 91 speed, 91 Excel. You know, we saw this yesterday, uh, or this, been, yeah, it was about yesterday. And then we got, or actually it was revealed a couple days ago. And then we got Jerron Curse, uh, for the, uh, Eagles and the, uh, Titans. Got the content schedule for the week. So now let's get into the team of the week stuff, guys. So this one, uh, these are going to be the players of the week. So we got Jamar Chase with 92 speed, 93 Excel, 90 route running for all the thresholds. Well, 90 plus for all the thresholds, I should say. Uh, the problem is the fact that he is six feet tall and it does kind of suck. So, I mean, like, that's just unfortunate. But, I mean, it is what it is. And then they also got CJ Gardner-Johnson. Uh, for the um, Eagles and the Saints uh, this year they're, they're they're from now on they're changing up team of the week they're doing it to where it's offensive and defensive players of the week instead of just one player of the week which I think it's great because obviously you know more current players get upgrades in the game and obviously when it comes to stuff like that you know you can get more players out and you can you know you know celebrate the fact that this player had a great game you know, in a week without having to pick just one for both sides of the ball. Uh, anyway, so for the 83s, so we got Teron Johnson for the Bills, and then we got Brian Robinson for the Commanders. Uh, next, we have the 86s. We got Quentin Williams, and we got Bailey Zapp for the Patriots and Jets, respectively. Uh, now, for the next one, we got Deion Jackson. This one is a little bit weird. Um, this is a pick by Matthew Barry. He is a part of the team of the week for the next few weeks. Um, I really don't like the fact that they're changing up team of the week, especially with how they're going about this. Um, you know, you get the 84 overall version by completing solos, and then you redeem that one in a few weeks to get an 89 overall version. It's weird. It's confusing. I don't like it. Uh, but we got Kayvon Thibodeau next for the, um, Giants. Uh, he had a really good game against the, um, Ravens. Uh, then for the players of the week, uh, for the other ones, we got Todd Heap. Uh, for the Ravens and Cardinals with 88 speed, 91 short, 91 mid. Uh, now, they said he gets 1 AP short in elite and 1 AP slot apprentice. So, keep that in mind, guys, when you do have those players. Uh, when you do have them on the feet, when you do get them. Also, Richard Seymour with 91 block shed, 92 power, and 88 finesse for the Raiders and Patriots. Uh, for the yeah Raiders and Patriots theme teams. Now, I don't necessarily remember what his discounted ability buckets were. There was a lot to go through. Uh, there was a lot, especially for the Team Diamonds aspect, uh, which we'll talk about here when we get to the Team Diamonds. But Richard Seymour looked very, very good. And then finally, the LTD this week is Leonard Floyd. Uh, we got, uh, he gets a 1 AP, I think 1 AP Secure Tackle, or uh, Tackle Supremus thing, thing is what they said, uh, as well as like a pass rush ability or two. I can't remember which. But anyways, guys, let's move on to Team Diamonds. A shout out to Fred for the Team Diamonds. Uh, so for Team Diamonds, guys, it is going to be working a little bit differently. So these cards were boosted up because of the fact that they were delayed. So good for them on that. We're going to just snug it in right there. Okay, perfect. Um, so yeah, they did boost up the team. My apologies. They did boost up Team Diamonds uh, because of the, um, you know, delay with it. Also, they're changing up some things with Team Diamonds. Now, yes, Team Diamonds does have uh, special ability buckets. Uh, however, this year, how they're doing it is as follows. Number one, every single team diamond is going to have times two for their team, for their current team diamond instead of times three. So this year they're doing it just as a times two thing. Uh, secondly, the other thing, the big thing is the fact that when you have this equipped for their regular team diamond, like th for the, to the team that they're assigned to for the team diamond, they are going to give a plus what a, a plus one to any random stat for the everybody on that team so for example uh with matt forte if you keep him on the bears theme team um he's gonna give plus i think it was plus one acceleration to all bears and then it's gonna it changes each and every single um it changes in each and every single one of the 
uh, players in question. So obviously they're not all going to give plus one acceleration. Some are going to give plus one to run block. Some are going to give plus one to um, throw on the run. Some are going to, you know, it all just depends on, you know, that, what that player is giving. So we'll start off first with Matt Forte, uh, 90 speed, 89 break tackle, 93 change of direction, uh, receiving back for the Bears. Willie Anderson is next for the Bengals with 91 strength, 94 run block power, 94 run block, uh, pass block power, I mean. Uh, then we got Pete um, Metzil Aris. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. I don't know. Uh, but 89 speed, 95 short route, 95 short route running, and 88 run blocking is incredible, especially on this point in the year. Um, now, I am did not realize this until now, uh, until like before I was... Uh, getting ready to make the until like they were doing the team diamonds reels. This guy was a Seahawk. I genuinely had no idea, so I'm gonna look to pick him up. Um, obviously for the Seahawks team team. Uh, then we got Terrell Davis for the Broncos with 91 speed, 94 change of direction with 92 break tackle. Next off for the Browns, we got Bernie Kozar with 80, 92 throw power, 89 deep accuracy. Not the greatest of scrambling quarterbacks, but still very good nonetheless. Uh, for the tight for the um. Bucks, we got Jimmy Giles with 89 speed, 91 mid, 88 short um, route running. Then for the Cardinals, we got Darnell Dockett with 80 speed, 92 block shed, 91 power move, 84 finesse. Charlie Joyner, 92 speed with 92 spec catch and all the route running thresholds. Uh, moving on next, we've got Ed Buddy. Um, they, uh, yeah, <laughs> TJ's called this dude Ed Booty on the um, <laughs> on the stream today. I'm pretty sure this is Ed Buddy. <laughs> Uh, 89 strength and awareness, 94 run blocking, very good stats there. Uh, Burt Jones for the Colts with 93 throw power, 87 speed. Had no idea who this guy was. Jason, Jason Wittens for the Cowboys with 95 catching, 94 short route running. Uh, then we got Mark Clayton for the Dolphins, 91 speed, 93 short, 90, uh, mid, I mean 91 deep route running. Uh, this one I ended up getting from the Team Diamond Predictor video. If you guys did watch that, I did guess Mark Clayton for the Dolphins. Uh, moving on to the Eagles, we got Keith Byers with 89 speed, 86 lead block, 89 impact block. Pretty solid for a fullback, actually. Can be a great third down running back. Uh, D'Angelo Hall for the Falcons with 92 speed and 92 man and 92 zone uh, on his card. He is pretty short, though, but hey, I mean, you know what? It is, it's still a pretty good team diamond, nonetheless. Uh, then we got Joe Perry for the San Francisco 49ers with 91 speed, 89 lead, 88 run block, 85 impact block. And then we got Keith Hamilton for the Giants with 88 speed, 980 Excelamine, 94 block shed, 88 finesse move. You know, pretty big dude. I think they said he was 6'7 on the, I think TJ said he was like 6'7 or something like that. I can't remember. Uh, Jaguars, we got Tony Baselli. This one I also did get correct from the uh, Team Diamond Predictor video. Uh, 94 pass block, 92 pass block finesse, great pass protecting lineman. Uh, next off, we got Victor Green for the Jets with 91 speed, 92 zone, 88 hit power. Uh, pretty good stats there. Glover Quinn for the Lions. This one I also did get correct. I did predict Glover Quinn, so uh, that one I'm very proud of myself for. Uh, 91 speed, 94 zone, 89 man, 87 hit power. Next up for the Packers, we got Donald Driver. Now, I can't remember if I got the Packers one correct. I feel like I picked Sterling Sharp, but I want to say I picked Donald Driver at the same time. Uh, but 91 speed, 89, 91, and 91 for the route running thresholds. Uh, moving on to the Panthers, we got Greg Olson, a Seahawks legend, with 89 speed, 90 short and mid route running, with 73 run blocking. Also has some great stats all the way around for his catching stats. Next up for the, pa for the Patriots, we got Lawyer Malloy, another Seahawks legend, with 90 speed, 91 zone, 94 hit power. Uh, you know, big, he's six foot three, if I remember correctly, or like six feet, actually. I don't think he's six three. I'm pretty sure he's six feet, uh, overall. He was not, uh, the biggest, he wasn't like six three. I don't know why I said that. Uh, for the Ra Raiders, we got Rod Martin with 89 speed, 91 Excel, 92 finesse move, which is pretty incredible stats. Uh, Kevin Carter for the, um, uh, for the, uh, Rams. I'm sorry, I drew a blank on that with 90 block shot, 94 power, 87 finesse. Uh, an 87 finesse move for the Ravens. They got Jacoby Jones. This one, I really, I really wanted to guess Jacoby Jones. Like I was so close to picking a Jacoby Jones for the Ravens team diamond guess, but I ended up going with Tony Saragusa just because he did pass away recently. Uh, but Jacoby Jones, 91 speed, 91, 92, 92 for the route running thresholds. I think that's a little weird. He was never the greatest of route runners or catchers. He was literally just a special teamer, but 
I mean, they don't have returner in this game anymore, so it makes sense. Uh, for the Washington Commanders, the they are they got London Fletcher with 90 speed, 92 block shed, 91 zone coverage. Very good linebacker. I think they said he gets lurker for one AP. Can't remember. Sammy Knight for the Saints with 90 speed, 93 zone, and 93 hit power, 95 pursuit. Uh, they said he gets zero AP crusher and one AP deflator. I think is what they said. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's what they said. I do remember the zero AP crusher, but I do not remember what the other one was. Uh, then we get Doug Baldwin for the Seahawks. Thank merciful fucking Jesus. Uh, with 91 speed, 89, 89, 92 for the route running. Um, so, yeah, obviously, I'll, I'm very happy for this Doug Baldwin. Going to be looking to pick him up as soon as fucking possible. Um, if not, I'll, I'll have the Team Diamond. I should have the Team Diamond set. Uh, the stuff, the ability to do Team Diamond sets, right? Because I have all the elite. I'll talk about the sets when we get there. Because uh, the TJ did kind of mention it. Um, but for the Steelers, we got Heinz Ward. This was another one I wanted to guess, but I ultimately decided to not guess Heinz Ward and went with Antoine Randall L. Uh, but 90 speed, 90 jump, 89, 90, and 89 for the route running thresholds for the uh, Heinz Ward. Brian Cushing for the Texans. This was not who I thought it was going to be. 59 zone coverage. Fucking lol. Uh, but 94 block shed, 90 excel. This card's trash in coverage. Don't use it. Uh, Samari roll for the Titans with 91 speed, 94 zone, 89 man. Not bad for a corner. I don't remember how tall he is. And then lastly, we got Chad Greenway for the Vikings with 88 speed and Excel, 91 block shed, and 84 finesse move. Definitely not the greatest of cover of um pass rushers, but definitely a good solid, much better coverage linebacker than say fucking Brian Cushing is. Um, so yeah, that is a quick video about the team diamonds. Uh now. Just to clarify for the sets, they did touch on uh they did touch on with the sets a couple of things. Uh the first thing that they touched on with sets is the fact that with the sets, uh they're gonna be primi primarily consisting of core team items, like you know, elites, golds, uh, and stuff of that nature. Basically, anything that gets a specific chem, like for the Raiders, any Raiders chem card is a viable option. Now, I don't know that per se necessarily what they are, because quite frankly. I have no clue. They did not showcase the sets. TJ talked about it, but he did not say what specifically they were. Uh, but one set he did specifically talk about was the other Team Diamond set, which is a 34th Team Diamond set, as he said. Um, it was the uh, jersey set. So this time around, you're going to be able to exchange 174 plus overall player, and you can get a fantasy pack of one of 32 alternate uniforms. And it's one for every single team. Um, he did mention the lime green Seahawks, so obviously I'm for sure going to be picking that up because I want my lime green beautiful jerseys, um, you know, and I will fight you if you think they are the, they are not that good of jerseys and you think those things look ugly. I will fight you because I love those beautiful things. Um, but yeah, that is basically everything about Team Diamonds, what we know. Um, they are they are targeted for tomorrow. We don't know for certain what time, I'm going to assume in the morning. Um they also said that there's going to be some challenges for Team Diamonds as well. I doubt you'll be able to get an end cat of the Team Diamond in question, but, I mean, that would be nice. But, you know, this is EA Sports we're talking about here. Um, but, yeah, that's going to be the video, guys. Just scrolling through one last time with all the Team Diamonds. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, hit the like button below and subscribe if you guys are new. And with that, I'll see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace. One last thing before I actually do wrap up the video, guys, because this was just tweeted out. Here is a list of the entire Team Diamonds chem. Uh, so every single Team uh, Diamond, this is the players that you are getting for your theme team. Not necessarily in, like, the aspect of, like, say, you know, that is, like, your Team Diamond. But in the aspect of, like, say, for example, for my Seahawks, we get Lawyer Malloy, Greg Olson, Pete Mez Mez uh, Metzilars, I think. And also we get Doug Baldwin. So we get four. Um, you know, Miami got like five with Mark Clayton, you know, Bernie Kozar, Sammy Knight, Mark Clay, uh, Kevin Carter, and Kevin, uh, Keith Byers. You know, these are all of them. So if you want to check them out, a uh, link to this tweet will be in the description. Go give Metality a follow, guys. Uh, but with that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Now I'm out. Peace.